Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I will do unboxing of this Magpet Mountain Electric Bicycle from Amazon. It's most affordable and I'm gonna do unboxing to show you how to assemble it. I will also will go over the, some spec on this bicycle and let's open it up. All right, so everything looks like packed really, really good with uh, enough protection from all the sides. So I'm gonna remove this part. The fenders are white, looks good so far. And here's the saddle. And actually it's very nice and impressive because it's very soft looks like. Very nice and with some spring on the back. So it's a um, really nice saddle for this affordable bike. And pretty long seat post, which should be good. So the seat so far is good. Here's the battery, which separately packed, which is also really nice. And here's the battery. And let's see. The battery looks like fully charged right out of the box. And see how large the battery is. It says here 720 watts, so it's 48 volt by 15 amp which is uh, pretty good and the key most likely attached to the frame somewhere and here's how the bike will look once you're removing in from the box uh, everything looks good so far it comes with a mud guard with derailleur protection over here is the charger so i'm gonna put the battery on charge just to make sure it's 100 percent charged before start using it comes with a mac pad charger which is 2 amp charger which might take a little bit longer and uh, the own kind of uh, adapter over here which is pretty cool and I like that they mark them mark pad, so I have a lot of chargers sometimes I have to mark it but this one already marked so it should be good but by have inside the pocket like there's a some back with the pedals actually the pedals are large which is really good some tools Head key, the key for the battery, also with manual if you need help to install and probably more information inside. Um, usually I don't need that much. And more key, more tools, hex key, so it comes with three hex key and also the wrench and some ties. I think you would need it uh, for attaching the um, rack. Rack looks like aluminum, well made as well, with integrated light, and so far looks good actually, I'm impressed, uh, 180 millimeter disc brakes which is good already, and the tires are by Cho Young which is also not bad at all, with nice nips over here for off-road riding, so far looks good, and also blackout um, spoke as you can see, so far the bikes actually looks pretty impressive for the low price like they offer. So with this bike particularly, I'll start to attach in the handlebar because it's pretty stable. The fork well protected. So I'm gonna remove these four bolts with the hex key it came with, which is very useful. And as you can see, it's a little bit loose. So it's uh, meant to be adjusted and you would need to remove this cup to tighten up everything from the bolt from the side as well. So if you don't know how to assemble the bike or afraid to assemble, you can always take to any bike shop, they can help you. And I highly recommend to take to the bike shop so they can readjust everything like brakes, derailleur, so you will ride smoothly. So you would remove it, you bring this handlebar up like this. Let's see, correct way, okay, this way. and reattach this bracket okay with the same bolts you just removed so it will look like this so once you attach it and I don't attach everything completely so you would tighten over here you will remove this cup and reattach it also tighten these two bolts again I would check everything later on with a torque wrench so before attaching the wheel you would need to remove this uh, nut 
okay, from both sides and remove this uh, uh, locking washer and the same thing on this side and it would be much easier to attach once you remove it okay so you would remove it next you would remove these two nuts from both sides okay and lift it up this is a protector you don't need it really and you would hold with one hand the handlebar and you would insert the wheel in and it's very simple and easy next step you take this uh, locking washer insert make sure it's inserted correctly to the hole over here and reattach your knot and you do the same thing from both sides and then you will retighten with a wrench next step to attach mudguard on the front and headlight for this you need to remove this bolt with a knot and also remove this bolt and then you would reattach with them so you would need to remove them and next you would insert the mudguards reattach the headlight like this and reattach the fenders on the side as well and that's it the bike almost assembled and now it's pretty simple to attach this rack you would remove these bolts okay and with the washer and just to, to reattach it to the same area we just removed and it fits very well so far let me see how it's over here yeah it fits very well very nice rack with the uh, attachment the backs over here if you need to and you do the same thing on the other side so next step once you attach this uh, rack you would need to attach this uh, wire and make sure you're going around over here and you would tighten up with the zip tie and then once you tighten everything you would reconnect it right over here with a cable and on this cable you'll find this arrow as you can see on the video and you would uh, match to the one right over here and make sure you tighten everything nicely all right so i reattached the cable everywhere right here away along the frame with the zip ties they included and connected underneath so everything looks good now now uh, it's time to attach the pedals attaching pedals very important uh, to pay attention to the letter R or L so L will go to the left side R to the right side and then you look on the, over here actually included for people who doesn't know where is left so it says over here left side you would just attach it and just reattach it and you will do the same thing on another side so right side will go to the right side the last you would just reattach the seat you just insert it and over here latch you will just close this make sure you tighten the latch on one side and just close this and it can go very low actually nice and that's how MacPet Suburban mountain electric bicycle will look once you assemble it the assembly was pretty easy and i like it it was not the hardest one and i like that everything fit very well the rack fit very well you need to attach the rack the pedals uh, handlebar attach and front wheel and the fender as well and attach the headlight all together so basically it's very simple it takes about 30 minutes on average and if you are not comfortable to assemble i always suggest to take to the local bike shop they can do correctly also they can adjust your brakes because sometimes they need to be adjusted and also the derailleur but the good part they do include in the video as well they have video in the manual guidelines you can also uh, check the manual this instruction how to adjust the derailleur and a lot of information so the company actually provide all the information you need to get started and ride it so let's go over some spec about this bicycle and i'm actually impressed with the quality and also with all the spec it comes for this low price 
First, I want to show you how low the seat can go down. So this point is like 29 inch and the total is about 34, 35 inches from the ground. So anybody who is 5'6 can ride this bicycle. Also, you can go all the way up and this is the tallest position, which is a uh, good up to six four inches tall person so for me um, i usually adjust like this and uh, let me show you it's it's almost like half so there's a lot of option to go and that's how it will look once you see it and the position is not bad actually it's nice for my height i'm 511 and as you can see um i'm in good position for riding as a mountain bicycle or commuter uh the handlebar it's a uh, 23 and a half inches wide which is actually pretty wide for this type of bicycle it's not bad um, there's a lot of space to, and let me get closer so i can show you what it comes with so it comes with a 15 amp battery you can check if it's full by pressing this button over here it will show you uh, from red to green also the charging it's on the side over here from another side right over here you can remove the battery and the controller actually building in the box underneath over here so basically you will not see any controller outside like some bicycle have so it's everything in one location right inside once you remove the battery you will see the controller right there you would see as a nice is actually rack included you can attach the basket they i believe they also sell the basket you can just attach it right here they do have a bags they have a saddle bag so they have many options you can check link in description with many additional options to this bicycle it comes with shimano derailleur they come with a guard as well for derailleur it come with seven shimano gear shifter and nice white pedals uh pro wheel front crank i'm not sure how wide they but looks good to me uh chow young tires 26 by 4 the fork it's just basic fork with um probably about looks like uh, two three inches travel i'm not sure exactly it says 80 millimeters it does not have any adjustment so just basic fork but again it's just commuter bike for this price you can complain uh, nice guard as you can see it's very wide so it's a good about it so you can ride them in a range should give you protection the frame design is not bad at all looks really good and looking good it's only weight like 66 pounds all together like this if you remove the battery the battery is almost nine pounds so it will be much lighter like 57 pounds so it's uh, actually a very good weight for this type of bicycle with a big headlight it comes with 180 millimeter disc brakes uh, mechanical by uh Philel. and something on the rear brakes 180 millimeters it does come with 750 motor so it should be uh, enough power actually to go fast uh, without any load it's going up to 31 miles but i'm gonna check later the speed with me riding it and i see it actually really nice i like to see it it's soft there is some suspension underneath so it's a very good seat to turn it on you press the power button it will turn on it's a pretty bright display and it's colorful by mc m6c so you will see bars on top the power speed then uh, ps ps level over here and the speed you can switch in and it gives you enough like information like power current so you get a lot of information on this display and it's actually it's pretty large display for this type of affordable bicycle and over here you can switch uh, plus and minus the uh, pedal assist level by turning plus sign and hold it for a few seconds you'll turn on the light as you can see the light is on and at the same time you will have your tail light turn on and it's the same time it works as a brake light and the brake light once you press the brakes as you can see it will turn on it comes with a um, half twist throttle nice um, it's like rubbish uh, 
handles, grips, which are some rest on the side over here. And again, it's mechanical brakes. It's uh, everything like set up looks good. Um, I don't think there's enough cable to in to raise the handlebar, so it's like more aggressive style. But again, everything on this bicycle very good setup and should be ready to ride. So if you are looking for commuters or just go off road to ride, like I think it's a great priced electric bicycle for anybody and it's a good starting bicycle so if you're not sure if you don't want to spend a couple thousand dollars i think it's a great bicycle check link in description for link to this uh, bicycle mark pad and it's more upgraded actually it's 750 watt motor with nice colorful display and i'm gonna have a speed test video you can check in, in description to see the speed and riding video as well thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.